Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you reasons why you shouldn't study sociology. But with a twist, I'm going to be reading the comments of some people who have commented on my videos who think that sociology isn't worth studying. So let's go through them. If you haven't seen my previous video on why I, do, I think that you shouldn't study sociology, if it's not right for you, check out this video and I'm sure you'll find it very informative. Okay, so in my video, five reasons why you shouldn't study sociology, this person commented this. Reason number six, sociology is a pseudoscience. Now let's ask Mr. Google what pseudoscience means. A pseudoscience is a collection of beliefs or practices mistakenly regarded as being on scientific method. Now what's a scientific method? Also from Mr. Google. <laughs> the basic steps of a scientific method are make an observation that describes a problem, create a hypothesis, test the hypothesis and draw conclusions and refine the hypothesis. Now, I would argue that sociology is not a pseudoscience because you do make observations, you do create a hypothesis, you test the hypothesis by, you know, seeking out more observations or using data, you know, so like it's not a pseudoscience. So pseudosciences might be described as like those kind of new age beliefs that you might also come across in sociology that you study in beliefs and society i think in a level that i i studied beliefs in society and we did talk about like new age beliefs new age movements and things like that those could be perceived as pseudosciences however sociology in my opinion is not a pseudoscience because it is based on rigorous research and training and observations those who do not do research and are not like rigorous in their observations and you know reflexive in their beliefs probably should not be regarded as sociologists this is a whole debate in itself, as you can see from these comments here under that particular comment. Um, someone said, sadly, there are no pseudoscience degrees at universities. Um, someone said, either you are trolling or talking out of your behind. <laughs> Sociologists are literary methodology experts, which is exactly what's required in science. That is my belief. Um, someone also said, sociology can't be falsified, therefore it's not a science. That's also one of the requirements of a science, right? So I think I will do a whole video on whether sociology is a science or not, because is a huge debate in sociology amongst sociologists themselves, which is kind of annoying. It kind of creates a divide, but you know, these things are going to happen. So I think that'll be really interesting. Let me know if you'd like a video on that. Someone replied to that comment saying, yes, it can be falsified. Just because sociologists don't necessarily work with a positivist epistemology doesn't mean it isn't a science. It's not a physical science, but a social science. So yes, that is also a debate in sociology, you know, whether you follow the idea that a science has to be falsifiable, does it have to be like it's not a sociology first but false bible it's a whole it's a whole path i will go through that in a whole other video so this next lovely comment is from someone who says that one sociology is not hard you can get top grades with very little effort two sociology has lots of examples as well three general sociologists are in fact not at all employable one way around this is to focus on research methods no point in dying, denying or ignoring it debatable Number four, sociology is one of many perspectives on the world. Most sociologists, for example, have no real understanding of how economic works apart from it's all power. Okay, while you might be exiting one bubble, by becoming a sociologist, you are also entering another one, especially the critical race slash gender side of sociology. Okay, it sounds like this person has a lot of preconceptions about sociology. I'm not sure if they've actually studied sociology before. So I replied, looks like you don't need persuading to not study sociology, haha, <laughs> because this was on this video, which was why you shouldn't study sociology. Anyway, let's address this one by one. Sociology is not hard. You can get top grades with very little effort. Now, that's a big preconception about a lot of soft subjects, which I talked about in this video. Um, I have to disagree. If you put no effort, you're really not going to get top grades. If you're getting top grades with little to no effort, I would argue that is the fault of, or that is the responsibility of your teachers who are marking your papers, clearly giving you top grades when you've made no effort. That is not right. Obviously, you can we can all argue the merits of a merit system, but you know, for the purpose of this argument, you can't get top grades with little effort in sociology. Sociology is tough. It requires critical thinking and reflection. Clearly, this person does not like that. Number two, sociology has lots of exams as well. This depends on your university, but I would argue on a whole, sociology is 
essay based. Even in the exam, you're going to be writing essays. You're not going to be answering multiple choice questions. I have yet to come across a sociology exam that is multiple choice. That's the end of that. Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if you've had multiple choice questions in your sociology exam university level. Okay. Third, general sociologists are not at all employable. General sociologists. Do you mean sociology students? or sociologists that are not specialised. Because specialised sociologists probably are invested in being an academic and you and that in fact is a career being an academic, you know, getting research published and in journals and all that. One way around this is to focus on research methods. I agree that focusing on research methods is a great way to boost your employability. Um, but I would say that you are employable because you have all those skills. You have research skills, you have critical thinking skills, right? This person is definitely ignoring all of that. Number four, sociologist is only one of many perspectives. I agree, your perspective is also one of many. Um, and most sociologists have no real understanding of how economics works. I, I, I would argue that it's most of the population don't have a real understanding of how economic works because it is complex. I studied I studied economics at a level and even now i am not like an expert on it i don't claim to be an expert like are you an expert on it to be commenting that um and no we don't say it's all power power is interlaced into everything it's not the sole reason for everything it's not the sole factor nor the sole influence and where sociology comes in is that the interplay of all these factors, you recognize that there's more than one, you recognize that it's not a binary, you recognize that there's power, there's also monetary influences, there's also systemic influences, like how the system is actually set up, you know, how, you know, an economic bubble comes to form and then pops and crashes and burns, you know. Um, so number five, while you might be exiting one bubble by becoming a sociologist, you are also entering another one, especially the critical race slash gender side of sociology. This person, definitely doesn't like critical race theory or gender so uh, I think you're going to struggle with sociology if you don't understand that there are inequalities just that and yeah I always say I've always said that sociology should be taught to everyone at secondary school level because it opened my eyes so much to the inequalities and how this world actually works, including all of the oppressive systems and stuff. Obviously, it's not binary. It's not supposed to depress you. It's supposed to empower you and make sure that, you know, you are actually aware of all this stuff happening. So, yeah, that's all that comment. OK, the next question is less so from like a hater. It's just someone who unfortunately couldn't get a job. So having a sociology degree is pretty much useless. You're just going to end up unemployed and depressed unless you're really lucky. Uh, so I said, sorry to hear that's your experience. It certainly isn't the case for me. I'm sure you'll be able to find something you enjoy soon. Um, and I also said that my video on part time jobs could help people get more job opportunities sooner. And I have a playlist of videos about like career, like after graduating with a social degree tips and like how to get a job and stuff. So hopefully those tips will help you if you're in the same situation. And I understand the job market is very tough right now. And I spent ages looking for a job before I found one. So, you know, I just say, keep going, keep going at it and like change your strategy if it's not working, you know, you find someone who is knowledgeable maybe in looking at CVs, career coach, career consultant or a recruiter or something like that and have them help you see where maybe you're falling a bit short, where you can improve um, and maybe that will help you. So this person said, I'm currently on my fourth semester majoring sociology, majoring in sociology and it sucks. Okay, so you're in your fourth semester this is still quite early on. I'm not sure where you're at university, but in your fourth semester in the UK, you're in second year or at the end of first year, depending on what your university's like semester system works, like what your year is split into. So at my university, we had two semesters. I went to the University of Bath, by the way. We had two semesters every year. So in your fourth semester, you'd be at the end of your second year. I say it's not late. It's not too late to change it. If you really hate it that much, if you cannot bear going for another year of it, change it. Like if you can afford to, if you think you have something better that you can switch to or leave university for, 
do it because it's not worth your sanity. It's not worth your health and mental health to kind of drag this on. So I would say that just find out what you actually like. Use the rest of your time. Obviously, like don't drop out straight away because then you might be even more lost and stuff. But if that's right for you, then do so. Like take my advice with a pinch of salt. But, um, you know, if you're say at the beginning of the second year, I know friend, I know a friend who changed from sociology to social work. It's not completely different, but it is also, you know, it's a different path. It's more hands-on. It's more, you know, actually working with people one-on-one um, or working with individual cases. So yeah, find what works for you and go for it. Cause I think that's really important. If you know what you're doing is not right for you, seek something that is and start from there. I hope this video, you know, help you to make your mind up about whether sociology is right for you. And to that, I have to say that sociology isn't for everyone, but if it is for you, if you think it is for you, I'm definitely here for that. I encourage you to go after it, you know, ignore the naysayers, <laughs> as long as you put in the work, as long as you um, are looking for ways to make yourself employable. I think that's all you need to do. Whatever comes is whatever comes afterwards especially if you're looking at career if you're thinking about career choices and you're worried about that don't worry about that now but if you're still worried about that check out this playlist and hopefully it will give you more information and help you to be less worried but with all that said i will see you in my next video bye